Welcome to the Mason Dixon Line of Scrimmage NCAA Tournament Breakdown. I'm Cole Drone. I've got Jonathan Holder here with me. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter at Mason Dixon LOS. Uh, we're going to go through our uh, championship breakdown tonight between uh, the Kentucky Wildcats and the Connecticut Huskies. Uh, coming through this past weekend, we had two excellent games between Florida and UConn and Kentucky and Wisconsin. Uh, so we're going to talk a little bit about that and kind of give you our picks for tonight. So Jonathan's going to get us started here. Uh, looking back at the, this past weekend's action with Florida and Connecticut, Kentucky, Wisconsin, two really good Final Four games. The first game, Florida uh, just really struggled against Connecticut. They struggled rebounding. They struggled defending. They couldn't hit a three-point shot. I saw Scotty Wilkin uh, just completely miss the rim. Um, at least three times. They couldn't hit a three-point shot to save their lives, and they've relied on that um, throughout the season. They had a great season, a great run, but in this game, Connecticut came up big. Daniels came up big. Of course, uh, uh, Shabazz Napier came up big. UConn was really impressive in that game. And then Kentucky and Wisconsin, that was a heck of a game also. You had Harrison hitting the big shot in the corner or not the corner, up on top of the three in the same spot where he's hit it before. He's Mr. Big Shot. How did Kentucky, uh, last week we talked about they didn't have any furniture. They were burning buildings. Um, we saw the videos of how they reacted. Um, it must be a big time up in Lexington, Kentucky right now. Yes, it is very big right now. Uh, from everything that I can gather, every Goodwill store is sold out of couches uh, for tonight. So I think they're ready and ready to go. I know uh, in one picture, a caption I've seen that just can't stop us as we had fans knocking down a stop sign. Uh, so I think they're they're pretty excited, and we're excited over the win this past weekend. Uh, getting back to the Connecticut-Florida game, it was it was a little bit different from the way I expected it to be. I mean, Florida jumps out to a 16-4 lead. I mean, you're thinking they're just going to cruise and not really thinking Connecticut's going to be able to come back. And then within about three minutes, you kind of came back tied it up, went ahead, and really from after the first nine minutes, Connecticut dominated the game. Uh, the matchup I was looking forward to between Scotty Wilkin and Shabazz Napier uh, wasn't really that much of a matchup at all. Wilkin ends up with four points, Napier with 12. Uh, but DeAndre Daniels was probably the biggest playmaker of the night for Connecticut. Uh, I, I've got to be honest, I was a little shocked uh, with the way that UConn actually handled Florida. Uh, I knew going into the Dome that, that Florida may struggle, and I'd actually seen a stat before the game that last year Florida had averaged 72 points a game, and when they played in the Sweet 16 in the Elite Eight uh, at AT&T Stadium, that they went from 72 points a game to 60 points a game. So uh, evidently the Dome had had an effect on their shooting where they hit a three in like their first possession and didn't hit one the rest of the game. Uh, it was a pretty rough night for the Gators. They had a great season, but they – uh, it just takes one bad night to put you out of the tournament. And then Kentucky, Wisconsin, I mean, it was, again, it feels like it's the same script every game Kentucky's played in over the last four games. Just a heavyweight battle, blow for blow, body, uh, just body blows uh, going back and forth between each team. Uh, Wisconsin jumps out. Kentucky, they come back. Kentucky's trailed in their previous four games at halftime. Well, they were tied against Michigan, but, I mean, they've been right just even – uh, and came back, and Aaron Harrison, as you said, Mr. Big Shot uh, from the wing, same almost identical shot he hit against Michigan. Um, it just, I mean, he's got ice water in his veins right now, uh, which sets us up for Connecticut and Kentucky tonight, national championship. How do you want to break this game down? This is a big game. Um, this is how I envision a national championship, too. Uh, rich tradition programs, two powerhouse programs in college basketball in Connecticut and Kentucky. Uh, star players everywhere. Shabazz Napier, like you said, Daniels has really stepped up in the tournament. Harrison Twins, Julius Randle, and uh, Kentucky supporting cast. You never know who's going to step up on a given night. Um, this game, to me, is a coin flip. I think it can go either way. At the end of the day, it may not be a popular pick. I'm going to pick Connecticut. Uh, to win this game, I like uh, Shabazz Napier stepping up in a big way. However, if it does come down to the last possession and Harrison's got the ball at the three-point line, if they don't get a hand up, Kentucky's going to walk out with this one and win the championship. But for my pick, I'm going with Connecticut. 
Uh, I agree with you with Harrison. It's just kind of I, I was really shocked that the guy for Wisconsin just gave him that much space to even shoot the three the other night. I mean, I was shocked. I mean, that's basically the word that describes it. Uh, going into the night, again, I think it's a good game. Kentucky, they're going to have the size. Uh, Connecticut, I think, as far as athleticism, I think they match up fairly well with Kentucky. Kentucky's going to be a little bit bigger. Uh, Kentucky's got to dominate the boards. They can't allow Connecticut to uh, stay in the game by getting offensive boards and second-chance points. Uh, but I think Shabazz, again, he's got that Kimba Walker magic. I don't know if he's going to be able to pull it out tonight. Uh, Kentucky's going to have to guard the three. Connecticut shot it pretty well the other night. Uh, I know at one point they had five threes. I'm not sure what they ended up with, but they, they shot it very well. Uh, in the end, I think Kentucky, I think their size, I think their athleticism, um, I just think they're going for their ninth championship tonight. They're the Wildcats. Cats have nine lives. I just think there's some mojo going right there. I don't really know what it is, but they they seem to be killed off. I don't know how many times, but they just keep coming back. They keep having these extra lives. So I look to see the Cats pull out number nine. I look to see a lot of furniture stores. The prices of the furniture go up this uh, over the next couple days. Supply and demand. I look to see a lot of couches being burnt and who knows what else. Uh and I, I look to see the Cats bring home number nine. This is the Mason-Dixon line of scrimmage. For Jonathan Holder, I'm Cole Drone. We'll see you next time.